Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. My name is Glitch. Today we are looking at making a diagonal piston door for you to use in your survival world. So recently, my kids and I have been exploring a tundra and the ice spikes next to it. While we have our little outpost here by the portal, I thought it would be fun to try adding a tower in among the ice spikes. At first, I was going to go ahead and just put in a plain old door, but then I thought, well, I bet you I could spruce this up with a little redstone. So I added a piston that piston door that opens diagonally uh, in the corner of the tower. And while we are in Java at the moment, this build will work in Bedrock as well using the same design. So to quickly demonstrate, when you come to the corner of the, cat, the tower, you'll press this button, which will open the piston door. Once it's open, you head on through, and the pressure, pr pressure plate will keep it open while you're passing through. When you want to go out, you simply walk up to the pressure plate, it opens the door, and you're free to wander about. Now, incidentally, though this entrance is not overtly hidden, with slight modifications, this... A door can be used to place in a secret room where you can hide all of your treasures. And then the principle is the same. Just press the door and out you come. And your treasures are hidden away. Now that we've looked at how the door works in principle, let's jump over to a creative world and dive into the actual build. For this build, you will need the following supplies. Eight structure blocks that match your wall. Four structure blocks that match your floor. Four additional structure blocks that can be of any type. These will be included in the actual uh, redstone components of the build. Four sticky pistons. Two repeaters. Two redstone torches some redstone dust, a button of your choice, and a pressure plate of your choice. You will also need a 6x6 six six area for this build. Though not all of the area is used, this will include the first block of the wall covering the build, which is where the input will be placed. And the build itself is two blocks tall and will require you to dig two blocks below the floor level. Also, this build will leave you a minimum of a 4x4 four four room once the redstone is in if you would like to use it for a hidden room. So to start things off, come to the corner of, your bu of the build and then skip one block in from the corner and then dig out a 2x2 two two hole that is also two blocks deep. And then, dig out a channel of three blocks in each direction. Then take out a structure block and place it on the end of each channel. Run a repeater into that block and place a redstone torch on top of those blocks. And then, fill in the rest of the space with redstone dust. Go on out. Now you can go ahead and place in your flooring blocks. Next, take a structure block and place it on top of each of the torches and place redstone dust on top of those blocks. Then take out your sticky pistons and you will place one on the face of the block. And because this block is currently powered, the piston will extend. And then place one more because the dust is there. This will be powered as well. And repeat on the other side. Then take out your wall blocks and place them on the faces of each of your pistons. Now to open the door from either end, we will need to power the block that the redstone torch is sitting on. This will in turn invert the torch and cause the piston to retract. First up, if the door is going to be on the outside of a circular, or at least as close to as circular as we can get in Minecraft, 
but some kind of a circular structure like a tower. You want to come to uh, one of the sides and you want to break out the block next to the extended arm of the piston. Then take out a uh, redstone dust and place it in the gap. You'll notice it connects up with the dust right in front of our repeater. Then take out a block that matches your wall and place it on top of the dust. And we'll go ahead and do it on the other side just so they match. And then if you extend the wall off on either side, you would have that exterior wall. Then go ahead and place a button down on the block that sits on top of the dust. And once you press the button, the door opens and you can go through. And then when you want to leave, you simply place down your pressure plate. And the door is complete. If, however, you want to use the door to hide a secret room off the corner of another room, come to one of the sides and break out one block next to the face of your piston, and then break, come back one more block and break two more uh, blocks down. Then run redstone dust up to that block, and then the process is the same. You would simply put your button here in the door, and if we place our structure blocks in, this would create that corner, and you could go ahead and press the button and come through, and regardless of which direction you put the door in, your uh, exit will always be the same because you'll have your pressure plate. But as soon as you step on, you can walk out, and your room is hidden away. Now, while I primarily used this door for an alternative entrance to a base, it is still possible to add in a hidden input. And in truth, all I did in my survival world to add in the hidden input, let's go ahead and knock the button out, was to add in a redstone line coming up from, let's go ahead and break that out, from our original redstone line, and then place in your blocks. And if you press your button, place your button on this block, press it, and the door opens. Then, go ahead and place in these. This will represent kind of the wall of the hidden room. If you take out a banner and place it on the block above the button, though the banner is covering the button, you can still interact with it because the hitbox for the banner is up here. So therefore, if you come into your corner, you can just start to see it in, behind it. But if you come into your corner and interact with the button and then come through, you can go ahead and use your room without having your input visible to the rest of the room. So that's kind of a little bo bonus hidden input that you can add. There are other options, but that's one that you could use with just a little more redstone dust and some wool and a stick for your banner. One other caveat you may want to think about is when you, if you use this kind of an entrance, the further away you want to put your input, the more you may need to also work in a repeater to add a little bit of delay to give you time to get over to your door. Because as it stands, this is relatively close, so I can just go and turn and go through. But the further away you are, the more time you'll need to get through the door. Whether you want to find a way to hide your treasures in plain sight, or just have a different kind of entrance for your front door, piston doors give you the opportunity to add a little bit of variety to your base. I hope you find this build fun and useful as you use it in your worlds. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like, and also consider subscribing if you want to see more content like this. My name is Glitch, and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.